tiny house, got a generator hooked up outside, run the fridge and the freezer and the light so we can see what we're doing at night. Possibly use it to run an air conditioner in the daytime. But right now, kick back, relax. Last night, we run a generator for a fridge and freezer using propane. This is the generator. We ran it from nine o'clock in the evening and it run both tanks dry by 4 a.m. So seven hours of generator runtime out of two tanks of propane, not good enough. So I've got two deep cycle batteries in here and a little cheap Harbor, Eight, Harbor Freight 45 watt solar panel set up. Gonna hook up the charged batteries in here and see if we can power the fridge and freezer in here off of these two deep cycle batteries. This is the 45 watt Harbor Freight solar setup right here. Got it all put together and wired into the food trailer. This here's the charge controller for the uh, solar panels. Right now, 12.5 watts out of 45. Doesn't sound that good. Here is the power inverter, 2000 watt. Batteries are down to 11.5 volts right now. But we're checking to see if it'll charge and run at the same time. Camping with no shower can be hot, sticky, dirty, sweaty, stinky, and messy. Tarp, some trees cut out around it here. Hopefully we get ourselves a makeshift camp shower going with some solar showers. Woohoo, can't wait. Progress being made. There's one tarp up. Huh? Getting ready to add a second tarp here. We'll have an enclosed room. Nobody can watch our naked butts while we're showering. Here is the completed shower. The door entrance right down there. You gotta crouch down to get in, but it's about six foot tall. <coughs> Here's the room. Up oh, there's the solar shower water bag. There's my uncle taking a shower. Just kidding, he's hooking up the bag. But we got room for a shower now. After a long day of cutting and burning and burning and cutting, got all this cleared out. Fire there. Fire there. Big area cleared out back here. I'm gonna try and pull this out this way into the open and light the whole thing on fire. Maybe tomorrow, don't know. All cleared out back here behind the tiny house. But nice big area, all cleared out now. A laundry day. My bucket and the toilet plunger. Always use a new plunger though. Don't use one from your clothes. <laughs> Here we have come to Talamina State Park. Uh, take a shower inside here. There's a toilet and a shower. His and hers. Pretty little park. A few days ago, my power inverter went out because it got overloaded, I guess. And all the fuses are good. I just don't want to kick on anymore. So today the replacement arrived. This is a 3000 watt, a little bigger than this one. So I'm going to change this one out, put this one on here and we should be back in business for power. Well, 3000 watt inverter, but 6000 peak. All right, got this 3000 watt inverter hooked up and and uh, the uh, extension cord here run into the tiny house, plugged into a freezer. And we're only running one and a half amps. 
122 volts. Oh, now 3.2 amps. Something else came on. But, uh, yeah. Doing good. Got temperature. Amperage, hertz, voltage. And, uh, battery health. Excellent. Today's dinner will be chili dogs, but these are bratwursts. With some Campbell's spicy chili on there. Big old pile of trees and briars backing up to got a boat anchor thrown over it on a rope and and uh gonna tie up to it try to pull on it and drag it around this way so it can light it all ablaze attempt number one see how this works we're just gonna pull the anchor a little bit a little bit of something First attempt is pretty good. Here we go for the second. Far enough. Little loop in the knot. Go on the rope. Go ahead. Whoa. Attempt number three. Hopefully we get a bigger stack this time. Oh, you broke the rope. Broke the rope. Broke the rope. This time found a toe strap to hook up to the chain and see how well this works. Started to work good. I'm out here walking down the creek bed, exploring, see what I've got to deal with out here, and what's useful for me. I found water still sitting here, which means the water table is pretty high in this area. So drilling a well won't have to drill too far down to get water. And I also found a whole bunch of gravel all through here. So that means I can make some walkways to the tiny house or something to keep all the dust out of the house. We have gravel walkway instead of dust. Lots of big trees along the banks of this creek here. Beautiful, beautiful creek though. We got jumping lizards running around in here. Here we found part of the creek with a lot more water in it and Dang. been following a snake out this way. Yeah, there's several of them in there. Some water moccasins in here. So, Shoot one. Huh. Whoa! Right beside him and fucking still. Got him. <laughs> Kicked him up he out. He moved of, his head just as I was shooting. Kicked him up out of the water. <laughs> yeah. done this before. <laughs> the hunt continues. Here we go. One snake. He's a goner. Hit him right in the back of the head, see? <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> Anybody hungry? <laughs> Got a snake wandering around over here. It's about to get shot. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, he's squirming. 
<laughs> no shit. I just shot him. <laughs> Again. See those fangs? Woohoo. Oh. He ain't quite dead yet. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Not funny. I ran to get away from that snake. Now I. He's still trying to go, even though he got shot in the head. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's okay. There's a bullet casing right there in the water. <laughs> yeah, well. Some excitement for the day, huh? Two water moccasins, man. See that? He got busted right there. See his skin cut oh. open? Oh. I can't see it. He don't want to roll over. Roll over and play dead, man. All right. Okay. I don't know. What. Watch out. Cheap. Cheap stick. Yeah. Don't they make <laughs> good wood anymore? <laughs> Drop the rock on its head. Okay. Uh, hey, dude. Oh, did that hurt? <laughs> Let me try that again. Uh. Oh, the mist. Oh, I, I can't help it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Is he dead yet? Him? No, he's still moving. Yeah, yeah get out from underneath that. <laughs> There's the creek bed down there. We found the snake. Come up here just to uh, do a little Game trail right here going that way. Going through here. Cutting through some of these lines you can see here. They go way, way up the trees. Just doing a little bit of land clearing as we go exploring. See what's out here. This could be the beginning of something really awesome or really bad. We'll find out soon. Fire started. Let's see how it works out. Big pile. Well, no uh, mishaps with this fire. Just a little bit crawling away, as you can see on the edge over here, but nothing out of control. Had some really high flames up there, but man, that was hot. I had to stand far back to record this. And, uh, well, periodic checkups on this keep it updated and see how far this pile burns down. Piles withering away. Not a lot left of it now. But dang, it's hot over here. Oh, a couple hours have passed since the fire started. Still burning away, but big pile of dirt and ash. Some grass left. Progress destruction all in one <laughs>